Welcome into Lemons to Lemonade Furniture. My name is Kara and today we're going to dive into the best selling paint colors for transforming furniture makeovers. That's right, I'm going to reveal my highest sellers. From bold colors to soothing neutrals, from elegant grays and warm earth tones, we're going to explore the colors that are flying off the shelves for me and captivating buyers in my furniture flipping market. And one lucky viewer is going to receive their favorite paint color from this video, so be sure to keep watching and see how to enter. Now let's jump right in. First piece up is Grandma's Buffet. I picked this up in an auction for $75, and this is one of those pieces that I wish I had five or six of, because this can be so fun to flip it so many different ways but the design I ended on sold really, really well for me and this paint color that I've used, I've used it time and time again on pieces and it continues to fly out the door, so that's why it's number one. This buffet was in decent shape. It's definitely seen plenty of use and it had a lot of dirt and furniture polish buildup on it. So I did a really good deep clean using some simple green before I started. The hardware is original to this piece and just absolutely beautiful. I knew with just a little bit of cleanup that this hardware would look really great again. So I'm not going to spend the extra money to find replacements. This hardware was definitely made for this piece. The raw wood look is so very popular for 2024, so to get the dark stain off these drawers, I put on some chemical stripper and let that sit for about an hour. Conditions are really hot in Texas, so I have to cover my chemical stripper to make sure that it stays activated and doesn't dry up on me. Once this sat for about an hour, I took a scraper and some steel wool to get into all the nooks and crannies to get off of this dark stain. Next, I'm doing a light scuff sand to the body of the dresser with a 180 grit sanding pad. This is just gonna help ensure that my paint had some tooth to adhere to, and it also gets out all those light scratches that are on the tops and the sides. For this buffet, I've chosen the color Sunday Tea by Country Chic. Sunday Tea is in a warm grayish color. It's not quite gray, it's not quite beige, it's actually a really soft and subtle color that's reminiscent of a peaceful and relaxing afternoon spent sipping tea and reading a book. Sunday Tea looks especially lovely with neutral wood finishes like oak or walnut, and it pairs really well with warm metallic finishes like brass or copper. I just love how Sunday tea blends seamlessly into the current decor styles. I'm using my HVLP gravity sprayer to apply this, but you can definitely apply it with a paintbrush or a roller. This buffet took two coats for full coverage. To get the hardware clean, I made a vinegar bath, and once it got to boiling, I dropped the hardware in. This is going to take off any of that old tarnish. We're going to do something a little different with these drawers. I created a paint wash out of that Country Chic Sunday Tea using one part paint and four parts water. I'm applying it with a stain sponge. This will just help make the drawers a little bit lighter than the body of the dresser and you'll still be able to see some of that beautiful wood grain detail coming through. 
Be sure to stay tuned until the end of today's flip where one lucky viewer will be receiving their favorite paint color from the flips I'm showing you today. All you need to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment below as to which one is your favorite paint color that I'm using today and you'll be entered in the drawing. To finish this piece, I'm using Country Chic's top coat in a satin finish. This is an eco-friendly water-based top coat that will add years of durability to this buffet with an extra strong sealant. And now for a quick before and after of Grandma's Buffet. This one sold for $750. The lovely neutral of the Sunday tea definitely complements a lot of home decor so I had plenty of interest when I listed this one. Number two was a roadside find. This guy was in pretty gross shape, but I had a really cool vision for this and I was up for the challenge. This dresser definitely had a 1980s vibe and I find that that style of furniture will sell really well for me. It looks pretty cool with a makeover, so let's get started. Again, I lucked out with these handles. They're perfect for this piece, but a few of them had been chewed on by a dog or an animal, but they're nothing that my sander can't tackle. I gave this a really good scrub with my drill brush. That just helps cut through any gross dirt and grime and this dresser had plenty of it. Next I took a 180 grit sanding pad and sanded down the surface of this dresser to help remove any scratches or lumps. This was not solid wood so I had to improvise with some of my finishing techniques. I wanted to do a modern half and half pattern on this dresser so I'm measuring out one side to make sure that it's even and then I'm going to take that Sunday tea paint again and make a paint wash out of that. So I'm using one part paint and three parts water. I'll apply a nice even coat and wipe it back after it's set on the surface for about 30 seconds. I did the same technique to the drawers on the right hand side of the dresser. A tan paint wash is an easy way to get rid of those orangey tones that are left over in the wood. Once that dried, I taped off the part that I applied the paint wash to to get ready to paint the other half. For the second half, I used the color Licorice by Country Chic Paint loaded into my Gravity Fed HBLP sprayer. I applied two good coats of this for full coverage. Licorice is this really rich, deep black shade that has a touch of sophistication and drama to it. Depending on the lighting, it can also take on this really cool deep charcoal hue, adding a nice depth to your piece. And it pairs really well with wood tones for a more earthy feel. But it also looks great with metallic accents like brushed nickel or brass. Once the licorice paint was dry, I peeled off my painter's tape to reveal the crisp line between the two colors. To seal this dresser, I'm taking some wood wax just to help maintain that beautiful matte finish on this piece. Each of these flips has its own dedicated video and I will list them in the descriptions below along with all the products that I'm using. If you're interested in finding out more detailed information about each flip, you can find it there. I loved the final unique finish on this dresser. It was so modern and definitely an upgrade from the one that we found in the trash. It's always amazing to me what you can do with free furniture from the side of the road. So this one, the color I used is called Licorice, and the selling price for this dresser was $950. Not bad for a free find. 
Number three, this next finish has been a fan favorite this year. I found these two nightstands at a thrift store for $75, and that's a pretty high price to pay for these considering what terrible shape they were in. But nightstands are a hot seller around here, and I think thrift stores have really picked up on that. These were missing hardware and had a ton of junk still left on the insides, but that's nothing we can't tackle. So I got to work and they needed a very good deep clean. Someone had previously painted these with spray paint, so I had my work cut out for me. I got them nice and clean with some simple green and warm water. Now that they're dry, I'm using a three x four surf prep sander with an 80 grit sanding pad to remove some of the overspray and the rough finish left behind on these nightstands. I originally thought I would do a solid wood top on these, but once I got the spray paint removed, the wood underneath was so ugly that I had to scrap that idea. But the direction I ended up going in was a hit. These needed to be primed first before I could paint, so I used my favorite primer in the purple can from Sherwin-Williams to help lock in any of that red wood tannin or previous finish that would try to seep through my final paint job. On these nightstands, I'm using the color Road Trip from Country Chic Paint. Road Trip is a light yellow-brown tan color and it pairs really well with those natural wood finishes that are making such a comeback in 2024. This color can be used to create a cozy and inviting atmosphere in a living room or a bedroom and it really complements rustic farmhouse inspired decor. Road Trip was absolutely the perfect color choice for this finish that I'm going for on these nightstands. To create that pottery barn look, we headed to Lowe's and picked up a can of Rust-Oleum glaze in the color Java Brown. This is a glaze that's made for cabinets, but wait till you see what it does on furniture. I'm applying the glaze with a foam brush and a thick layer. This has plenty of open time, so it's not gonna dry very quickly. You just wanna make sure that you get a good amount to cover all of the tan paint underneath. I'll wipe back a little bit of my glaze and you can already see it leaves this fun textured finish, but we're not done yet. Next, I took a deck staining brush and ran through the glaze to give it even more texture. Then I'll take a stiff bristled broom and I'll run it through the glaze after that. You wanna try to follow what would be a natural grain pattern in the wood if there was one there, so these end up looking like real wood at the end instead of particle board. This is very much a trust the process type of finish, but in the end, it's absolutely fantastic. You can see what a beautiful farmhouse vibe this gives off the more that you work with it. I found these great brushed bronze knobs on Amazon that perfectly complemented the faux wood finish on these nightstands. I added some peel and stick wallpaper into the drawers because some of the stains that were left inside made it looking less than fresh. I applied the knobs and I got these ready to stage. These sad little nightstands turned into beautiful pieces that had plenty of life left over in them for a new owner. I listed these on Facebook Marketplace and in 45 minutes I had a sale. I sold these for $475, but to be honest with you, I could have gone a lot higher with the kind of demand that these had. 
This was kind of like the one that got away, but that's okay. I still made a really good profit and I learned a new technique that sold really well for me time and time again. The color I used on this was the taupey tan color called Road Trip. And flip number four ended on a very different note than I had originally expected, so stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you the whole story. I found this dresser on Facebook Marketplace and it looks very similar to the one that I found on the side of the road. It actually has pretty much the same water damage on the top as it did in the previous one, and they were made of the same materials, however, they were not made by the same company. I picked this one up for $60. It was in decent shape, except for the damage on the top, but all the handles in the drawers did not need replacing or fixing, so I'll save some money by not having to worry about that. And again, the hardware on this piece was perfect, so I'm just going to remove these and set them aside so I can get a really good clean on this dresser. Simple Green is my go-to cleaner if you couldn't tell by now. It does a great job of removing dirt, grease, and grime, and it also cuts down all of that furniture polish. I buy a lot of these pieces from estate sales, and they're usually in really great condition, and they've been heavily pledged through the years, so it's really important that I get that off before you apply your new finish, whether that's paint or stain or paint wash. All that buildup underneath has got to go. It's amazing how dirty that water is on a dresser that looks relatively clean. For the next step, I used a 180 grit sanding pad to knock down any scratches or bumps on my dresser, and I'll give my paint a little something more to adhere to. This dresser did have a really big gouge that ran across almost the entire top of this, so I'm using some wood fill to patch that up. While that's drying, I'll do a good scuff sand on my drawers. Now that I have a few different finishes on this dresser, I'm using some clear shellac to help seal the top so they don't have any bleed through issues on this dresser into the paint that I'm using. I wanted to do a milk paint finish on this, so I'm using their color navy blue. This is not, however, going to be the color that ends up selling this dresser for me, so stay tuned. I built a base for this dresser to give it a little more height and I stained it in a dark walnut minwax stain. It gave it a really nice definition between the base and the paint color and it helped get this 1980s dresser off the ground a little bit. And again, all of my full tutorials are listed in the description below, so if you want more information on how I completed each flip, each one has its own individual video, and all the supplies I used are listed there as well, so be sure to check that out. And here is my before and after on my navy blue milk paint flip. I actually really loved the way that this one turned out. However, when we listed it on Facebook Marketplace, I had someone inbox me that was a previous client and she asked me if I would consider painting this black for her instead of navy blue. So back to the drawing board I went. Again, I used my color Licorice by Country Chic Paint and we turned this into her dream dresser for her home. The sale price on this guy was $800. And there you have it folks, we have uncovered the top selling paint colors that are transforming furniture makeovers for 2024 and driving success in the furniture flipping industry. Just remember that choosing the right paint color can make all the difference in capturing a buyer's attention and maximizing your profits. Whether you're opting for a timeless neutral or a bold statement, it's a great way to let your creativity shine and make a few extra bucks.
Be sure to let me know what your favorite paint color for today's furniture makeover was. If you leave me a comment down below, you're going to be entered in the giveaway. I'm giving away whatever you mention is your favorite color, plus a country chic brush to go along with that. Good luck guys. I'll close this drawing a week after this video airs. So get all of those votes in so I can get you entered. And as always, thank you so much for joining me today at Lemons to Lemonade Furniture. Hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a flip. Next week's project's already rolling in and I can't wait to see you there.